Hello, this is a part two for, about service dogs. I want to um, talk about um, my son being one of those people that, that does not like having a service dog at the table, not at the table, but um, with us in restaurants. So when he comes and he visits me in Florida, he refuses to have my service dog with me when he visits so therefore my loved one stays here at home and um, stays with Lily and we all go out to eat and when he stays for two weeks every time we go out to eat Lily stays home with my with my loved one you know and I think that's very unfair because She's part of the family as well, and um, like I said, she's my medical de medical device, and I shouldn't have to go without her. So therefore, you know, I just don't like to go out to eat. Period. Then, but he comes like every three years or every um, year or something like that, and it's just like. I don't like choosing, you know, uh, what, am, what am I supposed to do because he has his way, you know, he's here to visit me and I'm like, well, I mean, he's stubborn and I tried to explain to him how it's my right. And I mean, I'm like the advocate here about trying to explain my rights and he's the person that is the one like some of you guys that are like I don't want dogs in restaurants because it's nasty okay like I was saying there's rules people who know the rules are not going to have the dog's butt in the air and they're not going to be you know I don't think they're going to have these dogs shedding because you, you groom your dog you're not going to have these nasty smelly dogs out there stinking up the place because a service dog will be nicely groomed they'll they're potty trained they're not gonna you know piss on the floor they're not gonna defecate they're just well trained you know some of these dogs are better trained than some of these kids i've seen kids all sticky and have accidents on the floor i mean Honest to God, I think they're better behaved. And, I mean, you wouldn't like it if we say, leave your kids at home because there's times when I'm sitting in a restaurant and the little kid is disrupting my meal, you know. And he won't be quiet. And I, I've got, like, I get, like, um, headaches really bad migraines my migraines are so bad and when it gets that bad I get up and I leave so what I'm saying is when someone with a service dog comes in you don't like it you can just move you know like I said in my first video and thank you dear for um writing back and apologizing i am very glad that you were educated and that um, you understand um my son he probably understands and he doesn't like it and like i said you can move go somewhere else if you see somebody with a service dog you know he's never he's in the military too so he he definitely knows the law just like you know the law you know and but no, you can't, you can't have several, you know, like I was saying, so you, you can't put, ship us, like I'll say, here, ship us off to somewhere else. He he can go on a ship and be gone for, I said, go, go eat your MRIs, you know. But I'm glad to, to get my visits from my son. But I'm thinking next year when he comes to visit, I am not going to 
make special provisions. If he doesn't accept my service dog with me, then it's hot dogs, buddy. Thank you.